in my last video, I got this comment. So I decided to bring the X106 with me for a real world test. And what's in the bag? That's all. And I'm using the Tiffin Quarter Strength Black Mist Filter with JJC Lens Hood. I actually got two different types of lens hood. Maybe I'll do a review later on. Since I don't have the budget for a trip to Tokyo, instead, let's find something close by, which can also be a typical U scenario for this camera. After walking around with the camera in my hand for about 30 minutes, taking photos and clips no longer than 10 seconds, the camera became really hot. The yellow temperature warning popped out and the um, touch to focus started to struggle. It refuses to focus on the spot I touch on the back screen and constantly going back to the previous focus point. So on that note, we decided to get out for some fresh air. As we were showered by the warm winter sun, I realized it was the perfect time to test out the built-in ND filter. It does come in handy for video shooting when it's bright outside. So what are my thoughts? It is clearly not a camera that's made for video. First dive is doesn't work that well. You have to stabilize the footage in post. It gets hot quickly. The autofocus glitches sometimes, and the ergonomics is just not designed for prolonged handheld video shooting. So I simply don't feel the new sales point of the X106 being a capable video camera. Under its gorgeous, Instagrammable retro style scheme, it truly is a great photo camera that was in the X100V, with added video functions to cover occasional needs on the go. What do you think? Let me know in the comment. With that being said, let me show you some of the pictures I took with the X106. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.